Greetings, lions, lionesses. On August 8th, we have a special upcoming Lions Gate, and it's being amplified even more this year due to the new moon in Leo that's also taking place on the same day, making this event the year's biggest uproar. Perhaps you've already been feeling it. Your soul does know what's coming. Maybe you've been detoxing a bit, releasing in preparation for the 8-8 upgrades. Now, so many of my tribe members have manifested intense or dramatic situations to help purge out the stuff they don't need anymore. One of my clients was just in an accident, but luckily the karma cleared them from a cycle and they're more ready than ever to attract their twin flame and good things are even coming through after being blocked for a while. So I'd love to hear from you post in the comments below. What have you been feeling and where have you been healing already in preparation for this lion's gate? All right, so in this video, we're gonna have some fun. I will let you know what's coming and why this lion's gate is so effing powerful. You'll get the 8-8 energy meaning and how to prepare for it. And I have an exciting announcement for a complimentary special event that we're actually offering to you twin flame lovebirds out there or singles seeking your sacred union. And near the end of the video, I'll also be giving you some tips on how to connect more deeply with your beloved. That way you can dive deeper into your soul purpose together. So stay tuned. Now let's start off with this. What is the lion's gate? As you may know, Sirius is the brightest star in our sky and will align or align if you like a roaring wordplay today. It'll align perfectly with Orion's belt, those stylish three stars, and the Pyramid of Giza in Egypt on this day, creating a powerful cosmic portal to usher in a new wave of ascension energy. Sirius, aka the dog star, is represented by goddess Isis. She is the star mother whose medicines are abundance, creation, fertility, and devotion. And when Isis joins forces with her son, aka our son, Horus, in Leo, the energy for rapid manifestations, transformation, and balance will increase exponentially for us. The Lionsgate portal really opens the door to intense love and the awakening of the divine feminine and the divine masculine coming together in union as represented by the twin lions. Okay, so here is the deeper meaning of the Lionsgate. The number magic on 8-8 comes into play on this day as the number eight is about power, it's about balance, it's symbolized by the infinity sign, just tilt it sideways, which of course represents infinity and the power of perfect harmony, hopes, goals, and manifestations, which are truly infinite. Now, 8-8, eight, eight, 2021, adds up to three. This represents the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is also the triple goddess, the maiden, the mother, the crone, and the trinity of the twin flames, the feminine, the masculine, and the union. And in ancient Egypt, the trinity was depicted by the goddess Isis, aka Sirius, the god Osiris, aka Orion, and their baby Horus, our son. Now, the meaning of the angel number 88 literally means abundance, prosperity, and stability, not only on material wealth levels, but within all aspects of our lives. So use the abundance that you'll be receiving around 88 to activate yourself and also to help others. This is a great day to tithe, to volunteer, to donate to a charity. I love giving to a cause at Kiva.org, an organization that allows you to give microloans to small businesses in developing countries. I invest in women-owned businesses through Kiva every month and it feels amazing. I not only get to give, but I oftentimes get to see the loans being paid back into my account because the business has been successful. And then I take that and I reinvest it into other loans to other new businesses and the giving just keeps on growing. But going back to the angel number eight, eight meaning for twin flames, it actually means you have stronger to infinity energy to bust through old blocks and unlock huge potentials that haven't been tapped yet in your love life. In meditation, in vision, an infinity symbol in your third eye, go within, see the energy going in one direction, then you can even imagine, ooh, the twin infinity symbol is also going the other direction, like the yin and the yang working together like the two serpent snakes. Kundalini infinity going up and down the spine, connecting heaven and earth, higher and lower worlds are feminine and masculine as above, so below, as within, so without, and really coming together at the heart and in that third eye space. Feel into that feminine and masculine living in harmony within your body and your chakras and focus on that 
figure eight symbol, the infinity symbol, to help you materialize your gifts and dreams and close up the meditation saying, thank you universe for trusting me with your divine power. Then roar like a lion, be like, wow, so it is. All right, let's have some fun. I actually hired a mentor once and her whole spiel was like roaring to get in her power. So let's try that once. Rawr, feels really good. Okay, what does the Lionsgate portal do? It enhances love, it increases our ability to manifest, and it also cleanses negative patterns, old negative energies. It's also going to help you accelerate the transformational process. So where you've been stuck in the past, things are gonna move through. Oh, also, let's talk about the Cathar prophecy you might have heard about. The Cathars were a spiritual group who lived in the Languedoc, or also known as Occitania, located in the south of France between the 11th and 12th centuries. And there's something super significant happening on 8-8, a prophecy, a forecast, a prediction that came 700 years ago. Now, the Cathars were said to be the descendants of the teachings of Mary Magdalene and Jesus Christ, brought to the regions in the south of France, in the south of France after the crucifixion. A Cathar prophecy was spoken by the last known prophet, William Bellabas, just before he was burned at the stake at Montségur, a castle in France, in the Occitan region of southern France, on August at 8 a.m. 1321, and his prophecy said, we shall return again in 700 years when the laurel turns green, that there would be a great awakening, and that was 700 years ago on 8-8. It would be happening today on 8-8, 2021. And I have to say, when Jack and I hiked up to the castle, yes, we stayed in the south of France, and we were divinely guided to go to this castle. We had synchronicity after synchronicity, and people told us to go up there. And we ended up having like deep emotion, a lot of pain, and even past life recall. It was either we had past lives there or we were tapping into the field and remembering some type of bleed through. And since then, we've manifested many different clients who also remembered being a Cathar and being killed at this Montsegur castle. So the good news is, ladies and gentlemen, the time is now ours. It's time to come out, come out of hiding. It is safe. We're coming together. The the green laurel is here guiding us to come together in circle and we are the tribe that we've been waiting for. Now let's talk about Lady Luna. This is such a crazy powerful portal. What are the odds that the new moon is falling right onto 8-8 the Lion's Gate with all these cosmic energies already moving together? This is a super portal and I'm going to share more about why on an astrological level this is so powerful. But first I wanted to let you know that we are hosting a live new moon Lionsgate ritual happening this 8-8. So click the link below because we're putting a link down there. It's complimentary hosted by Aphrodite University. This is a space where we're going to manifest, cut through old karmas to space where we're going to amplify our manifestations using specific healing rituals with water and with crystalline energy, with coming together as sisters and with bringing in the lion S energy. So click the link below to register. We are also going to help you set your goals, download divinely guided action steps for you in your soul purpose, in your blissness, for your money manifestation. And it's just a beautiful space for entrepreneurs. All right, so click the link below. And now I'm gonna share more about the incredible astrology on this date. So on May 26th, there was a total lunar eclipse, as you remember, that opened up the portal season. June 10th was a solar eclipse, which was another portal. And then on June 21st, we had the solstice, which is another portal. Then on July 7th, there, there was the Sirius portal. And then on July 23rd, there was a full moon, another portal. So we've had five portal openings just in this season to get to this 8-8 Lionsgate portal, which is the sixth. Then on November 19th, we'll have a lunar eclipse. And then lastly, December 8th is a total solar eclipse, which is the eighth portal for a full circle closure for this entire eclipse season. We started with the total eclipse portal and end 2021 with a total eclipse portal, making this year a really intense circle. Really, this year is about ascension and preparation for what is to come. So hang on to your psychic hat. The 8-8 Lionsgate portal happens when the biggest and widest portal opens to our galactic center. This is an absolute karmic clearing, which is also a huge healing and collective activation. And amazingly good news, this is the most magical day of the season as the new moon in Leo happens on the same day. 
This is the perfect time to set brave intentions, plant new seeds for manifestations, make use of this powerful energy to activate and upgrade your spiritual energy. I hope that you'll join us at the new moon ritual that we're doing live. Now, Celia Fenn wrote last year about the Lion's Gate and the Blue Diamond Light Codes, and she says, Beloved ones, once again, it's the time of the Lion's Gate and the Planetary New Year. Another diamond spiral of time is being birthed through the Leo Gateway of 8-8. The Royal Lion Guardians of yesterday and tomorrow stand posted at the Gateway, ready to admit those who are balanced in their hearts to the sacred spiral of masterful co-creation on planet Earth. So we have these lions, these beautiful emanations of the sunlight standing for our hearts. The lion energy is very much about lion heart, lion spirit, about courage, as you know from the Wizard of Oz, of having the courage to stand in our power, to stand up to darkness and be in our sovereignty, our royalty. About It's also about manifesting abundance and the things that we came here to manifest doesn't necessarily have to be Physical abundance definitely doesn't have to be about wealth abundance, although it can be. We're here to create the heaven on earth, and this is our time. Even though things are dense and dark and intense, it's actually a better time than ever to come together, to gather in ceremony, to use this amplified energy of the lunation, of the 8-8, of the lion energy. And I just wanted to close up the video with a quick share about how I recognize my twin flame because we are both lions. So crazy story. And you might know we have a LLC. Our business is a picture of two lions. The story behind it is Jack discovered that he was a lion in medicine ceremony. And it was the first time he really had a big awakening. He was like, oh my gosh, I'm this galactic lion. And he experienced being a lion for several hours, roaring and feeling like he was from another realm, another plane of existence. And I thought it was the coolest thing. Although at the time we met and he told me about this story on our like second or third date, I was like, that's super cool, but I'm not a lion. And just you wait, it turns out that I also went into a deep shamanic state with a mentor and I channeled my spirit animal. And since then, I've gotten super in touch with my lion spirit, which is why I have this wild mane and I refuse to do anything with it besides put natural organic products in it and love it up. And it's just been super beautiful to tap into our lion energy. I've always had a deep connection with the sun. I moved to Bali because I want to be in sunshine year round. I've always chased the sun moving around from Mediterranean climate to Mediterranean climate. There's six, I think Italy, South Africa, California, um, Latin America, and, um, somewhere else. But anyways, um, I love the sun. I love being in that warm energy. One of the things that we love doing right now is we're growing organic food in our garden so that we can eat it ourselves and also share it with those in need here in Bali. And there's just something so amazing about the delicious senses and also sharing that with others. Imagine, you know, the, the lions, they have their, their kill and they just eat it together and their, their pride, their lion pride. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. I'd love to hear what's been coming up for you, what you're excited about. And most of all, join us for the new moon ritual, the 8-8 Lionsgate ritual. Click the link below. It's complimentary and I'll see you there. Namaste. Namaste.